Hey guys, it's me, Rain. Welcome back to Anointed to Bling. If you're new here, welcome aboard. If you're not, welcome back. I'm back with an update. It's another installment to my wedding vlog series. You remember these beautiful lampshade chandeliers that I did some time ago. These were a big hit with you guys, and I am so thankful that you took the time to watch. And not only watch, but give me some of your creative ideas because, as I said in the original video, which I'll link this back to, I needed to make about six to eight of these, and I wanted to do different styles. So that is why we're back today just to give you an update so if you want to see what i did stay tuned because you know it's coming up right now So even though I am not doing a full tutorial, I just want to show you some of the things that I'm using um, when I do this particular version. Now, I got this kit from Michaels. It is a bit pricey. It's $15, but if you use your 40% off coupon, that helps a lot with that. And I really like this particular set. I'll get a little bit closer. A lot of those beads are not exactly the same. I've already covered this lampshade, so I'll show you. And what I'm talking about is you get some that are really sparkly, some that are more nugget-like, you get some that are more flat. And so when you have that variety, when you put it all together, it really sparkles and shines and creates a lot of dimension. Under the light, you get some of the best prism light -like captures and I absolutely love, love, love that. Now the lampshade actually comes like this. I started covering this one as well and I'll show you that either if I'm done in this video you'll see it at the end or I'll do another update. But they come like this. This is a 15 inch diameter and it was actually three dollars. Now the first time I purchased I want to say I spent more like 11 or 12. So these were three dollars each. I don't know what happened if it was a fluke but while it was three dollars I went ahead and got all the ones that I needed um, and so that's what it looks like. Now for to do this black one I actually spray painted it black before I got started. Again, there's a whole tutorial on this, so you'll see me walk through this entire process. Now, what I'm gonna do that I did for, or what I'm doing differently is, if you remember, this is a part of a vase that I created, the cup came off, so I just kept this part so I could recreate that vase. But if you remember that tutorial, you'll remember these little stones here. I got these at the Dollar Tree, they were white, and I spray painted them uh, in the colors of the wedding to make these particular vases. So I'm gonna pull from this same context or concept and do that in the middle. So I just wanted to show you what I'm using and I'm probably only gonna fill it up about like this. I don't wanna make it too, 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 too heavy, but that is some of the different things that I'm using this time. So at least you'll know what supplies I used. And this tacky glue is the bomb. Now you can also use gem tack for them. One of the reasons I don't use E6000 for this particular project is that it takes quite a bit of it to spread. And when you're working on big surfaces like this, you want something that spreads really easily. This spreads like Elmer's glue. Also, when you're using these stones, if you can see these clear, clearer ones, when you use E6000, it eats at the foil. So it begins to look cloudy and foggy when it finally dries and adheres to whatever you're sticking it to. So tacky glue like this or even gem tack is a much better glue to use. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing built and just skip ahead and show you what it came out to look like when all was said and done. Again, we may do this one if we're finished. If we're not, you'll see it again later. All right, here we go. So da, 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 here it is. I wanted you to see it in its full glory. Now, I apologize. The weather was kind of doing an on again, off again, gloomy sort of thing. But I will say this about this particular project, you guys. That little kit that I showed you is a godsend. But many of those pearls are really, really, really tiny. So putting that together on those lampshades was 
super time consuming, but we got through it and I'm loving the way it came out. Now, the only revelation I had when all was said and done was instead of the rocks, I wish I had used some black feathers. Why didn't I think of that when I was making it? But it doesn't matter because these actually match several of the vases that you will see at my wedding when I do the montage. So it fits right in. But I'm thinking when I do that second black one, which I still have yet to do, I might actually switch it up and put some feathers in there. You guys gave me some great ideas. And so I tried to incorporate as many into this one as you gave me. And I really do like it though. It, you can't really see the sparkle, but this thing shines. The little bling um, fabric that I bought, that little rhinestone wrap, just those little bitty uh, pieces of it around the candle holders really sparkles and shines. Actually, the kit really shines. And now here it is with all three of them together. Now I did another one, the cream one that I showed you in the beginning that I will show you when it's completely done. And that one is absolutely my favorite, but I was afraid that this was gonna throw everything off, but you know what? It really blended well. It didn't, it wasn't that bad. And I wish I had a better place to show it to you, but I'm just really liking how they all kind of combine and create just a certain Gatsby-ish sort of look. And it's gonna be even better when they're in the um, mirrored pans with the flower arrangements and the candles. It's gonna really, really be nice. So I really like how these came out. And again, it's okay to be a little different and to mix things up. Everything doesn't have to match. And I so I hope it. that you really, really like this tutorial. If you did, like, share, comment, subscribe, tell a friend. I would greatly appreciate it. I always say that the work of our hands are blessed and yours are too. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Until next project, you all be blessed. Thank you.